Hi, my name is Callie King and I'm a junior at Riverwood. I made these ceramic figures in my Ceramics 3 class. I created an animal totem of three animals that related in a certain way. I created a bear, a wolf, and a fox because they are all predators and can live in the same ecosystems. I am most proud of the body shapes of the figures because I feel that even without the surface detail, it is easy to identify what they are. Finally, having an art class this year has been very helpful as it's been a way to get away from all my other schoolwork and focus on something that I can be creative on. I created a uh, one and a half foot tall large complex organic vase form from the coil construction method. What am I most proud of for this form? Well, in addition to the movement that is created and the scale of this form alone, I think I'm most proud of the texture as it creates additional movement and guides the viewer's eye throughout the work. Not to mention, it took me like three hours, so there's that too. My artwork is actually the big, biggest vase I've ever made, and what I think sticks out the most is the ridges. It's a symmetrical vase and then an organic shape with the ridges and curves on it. I think it really emphasizes the texture and adds a little variety to the vase. Um, I'm most proud of the ridges and the absolute size of this thing because it is the biggest face ever and it's very heavy. In the picture, I have four sculptural tiles that are centered around nature. In the top, I have a succulent of which I applicate each piece onto the slab that I had rolled. Um, and then on the left in the center row, I have a honeycomb pattern. Um, again, I applicated the hexagon pattern, and then I stamped the inside design. Um, to its right, I have a slab that I carved out each individual hollow spot to create the design of a spider web. And then on the bottom row, I have a carved tree design. So what I've created is a watercolor collage made out of made entirely out of ripped pieces of newspaper, maps, comic strips, and pieces of other pieces of paper. I created the color in the collage by painting over the pieces of paper using different watercolor techniques like dry brush, masking, and salt techniques. I entitled the collage Stork and Bucket and I based it off of a photo I took at the beach. I am most proud of the sand in the collage and how it turned out because the way the different shades of brown and sandy colors came together was I thought was effective and it effectively helped show the texture of the beach. I created a self-portrait in culmination of our color unit and I chose my self-portrait to be a monochromatic yellow color scheme and you can see that through the watercolor and the collage elements. What I'm most proud of is the overall composition. I really like how I just use all elements of magazines, even sunflower, even sunflower petals, dried sunflower petals just to create um, a feeling of texture and interest while still maintaining that yellow color scheme. I made this piece in Draw Paint 1 and we were focusing on drawing hands like proportions and detail lines along with learning just the basic rules of composition. Um, I'm most proud of the hands. I think I improved a lot from when we first started to making this project. For this project, we created six different renderings of an image of our choice, all six by six, and we were allowed to choose the renderings that we wanted to complete. The top left image is just a basic pencil drawing and shading, and the one in the top middle is color blocking with acrylic paint, and the one on the top right is a monochromatic watercolor, and I chose blue as the color scheme, so they're all shades of blue. And then the t bottom left is stippling, a technique where you only use dots. And to complete that, I used a Sharpie of various tip sizes. And then the bottom middle is Zentangles, which are a bunch of different patterns, all used in the different blocks of the image. And then the bottom right is just basic watercolor. And um, so what I made is a ceramic hand holding a plaster jellyfish. And I made this by taking the real measurements of my own hand and forearm and then translating that into little ceramic pieces and scoring and slipping them together. So then I um, took a bag of plaster and filled it into the hand and eventually carved it out and made it look like a jellyfish. 
And then I painted it and attached some string and glitter to make it look like the little pieces of a jellyfish. So my first piece that's in the top left what is a picture of my dog that I rendered using stippling. The second image in the top right is an orange slice that I created out of cardboard. In the bottom left, you can see an image of a tree that I created using cardboard and wooden skewers as well as some old tree trunks. And last but not least, in the bottom right, you can see a turtle shell that I created out of recycled pans. I think I am most proud of my tree because of how long it took. I so this project was basically creating a silhouette and then putting another picture on top of it with using Pixlr. And I just cut the photograph to my silhouette and this is what I came out with. I'm very proud of my work and I think it looks very nice. I'm most proud of how you can still see my face details and details in the picture.